So one of the downsides of having a few slack days because you don't feel very well <coughs> is that when you feel better, you got to catch up. Anyway, morning world, welcome to Wednesday, 7th of December. Um, that's got to be cleaned out, that's got to be cleaned out, they got to be cleaned out in there. Yes, the cows are gone, I've already chucked them out in the yard at the back. Yes, the, the class is already out as well. I kind of started without you because I wanted to get a, well, get a start on it. So I've already been around the back of the shed and moved our chain harrows around the front, just so I want to go over them and in doing that realized that when the guys from class western took my old topper the top link pin for the um, chain arrows was in it and it's a special pin with washers so i could remake one i just need to find some really big washers so uh, yeah i had intended to go chain arrow today that might that might put the koi bosh on it anyway uh Next job, the guys are using the skid steer for a minute. So I'm gonna just put our big Marshall hay trailer on. I wanna take it out of the shed and put it up there because we got loads and loads of firewood cut and there's no point in leaving it out in the wet. I kind of need to put it under cover. So the plan is sometime today, well, I get the trailer out now, get a bit of gravel in there, a bit of stone in there and I can start stacking bags of firewood in there in the dry because it ain't gonna dry outside, not in this. In the summer, yeah. Now, not so much. No grab handle on the right hand side. Well, unless you count the door. Anyway, I had to go through my lesson yesterday on how to um, use the picker pitch again. James did tell me when he delivered the tractor, but then I forgot. But basically, you have to, I'll start from the beginning. So we need to use the hydraulics on this thing. You need to wake them up and then unlock them. And then using that switch there, decide on which service you want so green on there is loader which operates this okay if i press it again and we're going over to blue and brown so right and on the pickup hitch um that's these guys so this is up and down up down I would show you but that means getting out the tractor and going down there and then for the pickup drawbar extension F3 that might be the wrong way that sounded more like it all right I'll put the camera outside and you can see what that does all right just just so you know I'll put it back in first you can hear it can't you Right, you can't see me, but I promise you I'm back in the cab. We'll come a little bit nearer. Yes, I know the handbrake's on. And we'll drop the link arms down a bit lower. And then while we're at it, we will extend our bar. Okay, so I can't actually see that from the cab very well. Uh, I'm just going to adjust the mirror. Right, 
Right, from what I can see in the mirror, it looks about right. I'm going to slow the hydraulics right down to one and lift. I'm not even close. So from the mirror up there, I can see that. Obviously, that's an optical. I gotta go forward a bit. Or, alternatively, I could. I don't actually know what happened then, but I can't see in the mirror. No, I missed it. F3. Okay. Is that it? F1. Okay. That got it. By Jove, I think he's done it. Now I made that look really difficult, a really tricky, a really complicated, but once I've done that 10 times, that would be really easy. Okay. So we're pretty tight in here. I'm just gonna swap my uh, hydraulics over to loader so I can get him up above everything. Just stay on the loader for a minute. That is tight in there. So this tractor is really a bit big for this yard, but we already knew that before we started it was going to be too big. Make sure the loader's going to clear the barn roof. Okay. Okay. Maybe a tad tight there. My excuse is this tractor's half as big again as what I'm used to. All right, it's a good excuse. And of course, the bloke who put the hurdles against the wall there didn't stack them very tidy. I reckon that I do. I just nudged him over the block, all right. And you're on that, so I'll flick you over to that. F3. That should be off. It is, but we will just while we're here, and we can. I just make sure those wheels are chopped. I don't like putting the brake on because they tend to seize. No, I'm going to put a, put you. Oh, under there.
Okay, stay. Sorted. All right, F3. That's that. And I should be able to now pick him back up. And that should go clunk. There we go. There you go, clunk. And then what we'll do, we'll just, uh, where is it there? If I turn that down, let's see this blue line there. That means he's right the way up. So this is the height of the uh, arms. At the moment, he's on constant constant pumping to lift the pickup pitch. We don't want that. So hopefully, if I turn that knob, uh, that one, down a little bit, you might hear an engine note change. And you'll also see a little black mark move up there. So I'm going to turn this like that. And you'll see that there. Okay. All right, no engine note change, but then the rams, the assisted rams, everything is not constantly trying to hold those arms up, they're just sitting there. Okay, so we want to change our settings from blue and uh, brown spores back over to green. So we'll press that. There you go. And now we're on spore number three. No, seven, eight, nine, nine. Four. The green one. Okay, well I want to clean out um, calf pens, so we're going to just put this um, um, here, out of the way, and then we'll do that. Hopefully the guys are finished with the skid steer. that job done. Home for Dindins. And I do believe Mrs. P has made, I'm not sure if it's a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie. I think it's a cottage pie. So if you want to know what the difference is, a shepherd's pie is made with lamb and a cottage pie is made with beef. Or at least that's how it works in our house. All right. Shepherd's pie, lamb, cottage pie, beef. And guess what we've got? Well, we've got both. I've got minced lean. Minced lean. Minced beef and minced lamb. Could be either. I'm going on cottage. We got more of that.